What is up, Light Fam? Welcome to another video. My name is David. I've made a lot of videos on this channel regarding the Great Awakening and the shift to 5D Earth. And all of those videos have always focused on the individual's journey through the Great Awakening because I believe it's you, the individual, that have to become the change that you wish to experience externally. Now, today's video is going to focus on the other side of the Great Awakening, and that is waking up from the controlled and contrived narrative from the powers that be <laughs> in an attempt to get people to start to ask themselves some questions about what's really going on. What's the bigger picture at play here? When we can start stepping back and asking ourselves some critical questions instead of just blindly believing everything that the mainstream media or worshiping celebrities believing everything that they say, when we can step back and ask some critical thinking questions, we stand a much greater chance of defending the boundaries of our civil liberties instead of just acquiescing to more and more extreme levels of the new normal. So. Let's get into this discussion right now. Now, I don't want this video to lower your vibration if you're on your spiritual journey. So I'm not gonna make this some long video that takes you deep down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories, don't worry. I'll keep it short and ask you to step back from the mainstream's official narrative and start asking some why questions about the bigger picture. As soon as we can start questioning what we're being told uh, from the mainstream media, the sooner that we can stop giving away our sovereignty and our freedom by reacting emotionally uh, to what the powers that be want us to believe, and the sooner that it becomes possible for informed people to stand together against control, against the stripping of civil liberties, and against what I believe to be the war on consciousness. We've all heard this concept of an elite group of individuals that have this nefarious agenda to control the planet. Uh, do I believe this to be the case? Yes, I do. <laughs> I believe that there is an elite group of globalists that are Marxists and they largely control public opinion through the fear-based news media, social media, Hollywood, big tech search engines in Silicon Valley. <laughs> and we have to ask ourselves if a Marxist elite group that want to control the planet, do they have the best interest in mind of the people that they want to control? Not bloody likely. <laughs> That's my British accent for my, my UK viewers. I know that was terrible. Um, so <laughs> it's funny, there's a, a YouTuber, I'm sure you guys are familiar with, uh, JP Sears, he has a huge channel. But he has a very funny video on this exact topic. It's called The Elitists That Control You. Um, I'll put that link in the description below. JP Sears is a comedian, so obviously that video has a lot of uh, comedic overtones. It is very funny, but he is speaking a lot of truth in that video. So link below to that video. Definitely check it out when you get the chance. If we step back and we take our brain out of the narrative that we're being sold and we look at the big picture and we, we piece the puzzle together, I think it's very clear to see that there is what many call, myself included, to be the war on consciousness. You gotta remember, it's your conscious awareness that is your key to your sovereignty. I would even say that conscious awareness is sovereignty because everything is consciousness. So it would then make sense to say lowering your conscious awareness would allow you to be more controllable. You would be open to more suggestions that may help you alleviate some of that fear that you've been feeling even if that fear was purposely manufactured <laughs> by the ones that want to control you in the first place. Think about it. When are you your most vulnerable? When you're reacting from the lower vibrational 3D egoic emotions of fear and anger. Can you really be 
in a state of higher consciousness and be full of fear at the same time? The ones that control the mainstream media, social media, Hollywood, etc., they know that you're not controllable if you are feeling happy-go-lucky, healthy, and abundant. You can't control someone like that. Those are the higher vibrational emotions, more in light vibration to higher consciousness. So to control you, they've got to get you fearing something. They've got to get you hating somebody. A knee-jerk reaction is our emotions. So how do the globalists control the opinions of the collective consciousness? Through their emotions. Pulling on those emotional heartstrings to which we tie our identity. You know, this is not a dumb group that's behind the scenes, folks. <laughs> These guys know exactly what your emotional heartstrings are. Much like a, a movie director is able to get you emotionally invested in a movie or a TV series. So every time that you react emotionally, you give away your power and you're acting exactly the way that they want you to act. So if your knee jerk reaction was to go out and buy all of the toilet paper that you could find, instead of stepping back and asking if what you're being told is true and doing your own independent research, then you just got played. Now, one of the points of this video is to encourage you to go and look for alternative and independent news sources. I would list a few, but uh, Papa Google labels any news source that isn't part of the controlled narrative or share their views as extremists uh, in an attempt to discourage and shame anyone by throwing the extremist label on them if they dare look for any news sources that is not part of the controlled narrative. Instead of believing everything that a celebrity, a fact checker, or censored social media wants you to believe, take a step back and start piecing the picture together for yourself. For example, anyone else think it's weird that right after Pfizer announces a 90% success trial for their you know what, coincidentally now cases magically spike through the roof. Deaths daily are at an all time record high and we're right back into lockdown. One of the potential candidates has a task force. We need a task force. <laughs> Sounds like problem reaction solution to me. And what's the solution? Oh, here, take this, take this. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Wouldn't it make sense? Wouldn't the fear have to remain relevant? Wouldn't fear have to still be center stage and be an imminent threat? Otherwise, you're not going to take what they want you to take. Again, the point is to get you to just ask why. When we step back and we ask why from a critical and logical mindset, it gives us time to respond armed with information instead of react with emotion, the emotions of fear and anger. So when we step back and we ask why, we can ask, why is the news not covering clear and irrefutable hard evidence of fraud? Seems pretty important to me, seems pretty newsworthy, right? And this is not to get you on either side of the political fence. This goes way beyond politics. This is about the why of why are we not allowed to freely choose what to believe based on all the information neutrally presented to us? <laughs> why are we being force fed what to believe? Why are all roads that lead in any direction that is not in alignment with the mainstream media's narrative met with censorship, shaming, deplatforming, virtue signaling, gaslighting, uh, disinformation, a lot of disinformation, which is misinformation purposely designed to steer you away from the truth. Again, why? Why is it like that? Is it for our best interests? Do you believe that it's in your best interest to have your opinions, thoughts, and beliefs dictated for you? Again, sounds like a war on consciousness to me. Or why are doctors, or virologists specifically, and scientists that provide evidence that is contradictory to the contrived narrative, why are they censored and a lot of times deplatformed? Hmm. Sounds like if the fear is debunked, <laughs> then the globalists 
are not able to control people's actions without the fear? <laughs> or why is it that a lot of public officials that preach and demand face covering are commonly seen out in public, not social distancing and not wearing their face diapers? <laughs> or more commonly, there's been a few uh, public officials that voted to ban outdoor dining at restaurants. And then the very next day, they were seen dining outside at a restaurant. <laughs> so this has a whole lot of do as I say and not as I do attached to it, which suggests that it was never about safety. It's about compliance. Um, and this one affected me uh, personally over on Instagram. There was a, a big, huge hashtag over there. Hashtag the Great Awakening. Had over a million and something followers. And then hashtag the Great Awakening slowly started getting suppressed and limited and then it was completely deleted you can't find hashtag the great awakening over on instagram not the big one there's some little ones over there now that have popped up but why would they want to completely erase the great awakening what don't they want you to do well it sounds like they don't want you to wake up now if you ask these questions and the response is oh that's been debunked but they can't provide the evidence of how it's been debunked, then that's called gaslighting, my friends. <laughs> if you're doing your own research from independent news sources, alternative news sources, and you're providing facts and evidence to the contrary of the contrived narrative, and you're met with being called a conspiracy theorist, that's gaslighting. So don't let them make you think that you're crazy. As a matter of fact, you're the opposite. You're an independent thinker that's not manipulated by your emotions and you choose to actually employ common sense. All right, I will back off now, but the point of this video was just to get you to think for yourself, to get you to start asking some simple big picture questions and to at least start questioning the mainstream narrative that's being spoon fed to you from celebrities and fact checkers so that you don't just believe the contrived narrative hook, line and sinker, because all that does is lead to more of the collective acquiescing and accepting more and more extreme levels of the new normal. The new normal was a term designed to get you to submit and accept. How extreme of a level of new normal did we have to get to before we finally come together, stand together as an informed and fearless collective and put our foot down and say, enough is enough. If we keep adjusting our level of acceptability of the new normal, we're gonna find ourselves in a new normal that is far past what we deem acceptable. You know, this is not unlike uh, an abusive relationship. Maybe an abusive relationship that's somehow turned verbally abusive, right? So it starts out verbally abusive and somehow that's acceptable. And then that verbal abuse turns to a slap and somehow that gets accepted. And then that slap turns to a punch and then that gets accepted. And then the next level of extremity uh, happens and then we find ourselves in, in how do we get here? What, how, what happened? How do we get here? Well, you kept adjusting your level of acceptability of the new normal. I'm trying to paint a picture here for you guys to get you to understand that everything that's happening now is just a test of what you'll accept as the new normal. And my hope is that painting this picture will encourage a lot of us to try to stand together and put our foot down <laughs> and say enough is enough before we find ourselves in a new normal that has now become some Orwellian nightmare of social slavery. Now, question of the day. <laughs> Do you believe that all of this started from some guy eating bat soup in China or Nah, we're clearly being messed with. <laughs> Guys, I know that this is not my usual high vibe video, but I think that if you are at least aware of the war on consciousness, then you can take action to protect your consciousness and defend your sovereignty. I also believe that if you close your eyes to any potential threat to your level of conscious awareness, that's being spiritually irresponsible. 
So I'm looking out for my light fam. All right, guys, leave those comments below. I'd love to get an open discussion on this one. If you liked the video, then please like the video. For more videos on the Great Awakening, a Spiritual Awakening, 5D Consciousness, please click the subscribe button. Again, remember to add me over on Instagram, underscore Lightways. Um, you guys have been really great about shooting me those questions and giving me some new uh, video ideas. So I really appreciate that. Please keep those questions coming. Remember to have a look around in the description box below. We've got the free 30 minute guided meditation on abundance. We also uh, have some one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom coaching as well. Now, if you know anyone that is drinking the Kool-Aid of the controlled and contrived narrative, and you feel that uh, this video may enlighten them, then please share this video with them. It may give them the insight that they need to just start doing their own independent research and start forming their own opinions. That is it for me, guys. This video definitely went a little bit longer than I was expecting. I will see all of you in the next video. You know how we do it. <laughs> Light, love, and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace, guys.